I just got my Z50 in a couple days ago and I really haven't had a chance to fully test it out, but I did get a chance to take it with me to a soccer game. Uh, it wasn't anything official, just had it there for about 15 minutes or so. But what I can say is it was keeping up with the action quite nicely. I'm gonna have to say, uh, just with the brief testing that I've done so far, that it's a pretty good camera for keeping up with sports. I plan on going back to the soccer field to do more in-depth tests uh, in a sports environment. Uh, I'm also planning on doing a portrait session with the camera as well, just to see how it handles in that scenario. If you have anything in specific you'd like me to test as it relates to sports or portraits, uh, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can add it to the test I plan to do over the next couple of days. In this video, I wanted to do a size comparison against the Z6. Uh, the Z6 is already small, but the Z50 is even smaller. So it's kind of uh, crazy to think they crammed all this stuff into an even smaller body. And you're not really missing much. You're not really missing much of the major feature set that you're getting from the Z6. In a future video, I plan to do a more in-depth review on the Z50. So stay tuned for that, and I'll give you, uh, you know, all the differences that you can expect uh, between the two cameras. I bought this camera with the kit lens, the 16 to 50, uh, but I wanted to show you what it looks like with other Z lenses mounted on this body. I also have a couple of F mount lenses, so I will put the F to Z adapter on there and show you what it looks like with a couple of those lenses as well. I have two new videos that are coming out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, one is gonna be the year long review of the Z6. I've had the camera for over a year and I've taken it with me to uh, a lot of different shoots, uh, mostly weddings, uh, but obviously portrait sessions. I've taken it to uh, even studio sessions. Um, so I just want to give you my take as a wedding photographer on how this camera performed over the last year. Uh, the other video I have coming out is for new wedding photographers who have not done bridal shows. I haven't seen a lot of bridal show videos or advice on YouTube, so I wanted to give you guys uh, an idea of how I set up, what I bring with me, what marker material I use, how I interact with brides, uh, and how the whole show uh, kind of goes down. So if you're interested in any of those two videos, uh, just stay tuned for that. They'll be out in the next couple of weeks. Again, if there's anything in specific you'd like me to test with the sports and the portrait sessions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can add those to the test. If you have any general questions about the camera, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.